Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, B, coming to you live from out of my bedroom. Yeah, um, something different, of course. You know, there's this one little hair. It's like trying to make an ass out of me. Well, I'll show you. Oh my God, right? I would die. Anyway, um, it's kind of rainy a little bit today. And also, um, this morning when I was getting ready for work, it was extremely hot. So I was sweating like a pig. And um, my do, I don't know, maybe suffering as a result. But, you know, what can you do? If you, I don't know if you guys can see from here, I've got on my favorite earrings, or one of my favorite earrings. It's a little grenade. I don't know. How, how can we make this happen? A little grenade on a chain. Um, one day I went to Hot Topic, and they had um, these grenade earrings for like $3. But they've been like my favorite earrings um, ever since. And, um, what's the point? I guess there's a couple points. I mean, like, this morning as I was getting ready for work, there was, um, some transsexuals that were on Howard Stern, and it was just weird because I was getting, like, really jealous because I want to be, I want to be, like, the only transsexual that they, that they think of. So, um, you can see my fat, whoop, that's not my cat. That's a box. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> that's Ralph. Oops. That's my fat cat, Ralph. He, um, is an, uh, orphan, you know, an adoptee. Um, we had neighbors that lived downstairs from us. Uh, I live in a kind of like a duplex type of deal. And, um, there's a ground floor apartment. Well, ground floor apartment is mine and my uh, brother's. And the downstairs apartment is like, kind of like, uh, basement style. And, um, they had a cat. And they moved out. And, well, they had multiple cats. And, they, well, they had, what? I'm getting ahead of myself. They had a cat. And that cat had cats, kittens. And uh, Ralph was one of them. That little pink box, that's Ralph. No, whoops. Oh, <laughs> Ralph, he was one of them. And um, when they moved out, he must have absconded or something like that. And they couldn't find him, so they just left him here. So after they had been gone for uh, a couple weeks, and might I add good riddance, motherfuckers, um, after they were gone for a couple days or a week or so, we, well, I think my brother came home to find Mr. Thing. I'll get it. Mr. Thing here. I mean, I guess I could just think about it in the con. I'm thinking about it in the context of the screen, where I could just think, oh, okay, the cat's over my... Um, my left shoulder, so I just need to keep pointing there and look, you know, because it clearly is right there. But when I look in the screen, it's like making me all confused. I'm getting all uh, discombobulated. Um, but I have on a bra today, which is rare for me. I mean, at least when I'm posting YouTube, I like never wear a bra. So you see like my luscious, my luscious bosoms, they're all faux, of course, but I guess I was just sad today because those chicks were on Howard Stern getting attention. And one of the girls that was on there was um, Isis, who uh, was formerly on America's Next Top Model. And uh, Tyra bought her pussy, and it was created by Dr. Um, Bowers. So I hate her. And I'm thinking, like, well, that bitch is really lucky. But, it, you know, I remember when she was on Top Model for the first time, uh, she was homeless, so I'm like, mm. I don't know if that calling her lucky is really, like, that, um, accurate. I mean, I think it's just jealousy, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna try to play like I'm not. Like, my mom is always like, oh, don't say that. Like, you're not jealous. I'm fucking jealous. I mean, like, I'm, I like, I mean, like, I'm jealous of people that have things that I want, and I'm sure she's got a nice twat, and, um, you know, she's out there doing it, but maybe that's, you know, because she's motivated and I am not. So anyway, aside from that, um, I guess, uh, something that people do on here is, uh, open things, I guess, that they've got in the mail. And I meant to do this last month, but, uh, the, this whole deal wasn't working with the, um, what do you call that thing? A webcam, you know, that really complex thing that, you know, not mo most people can remember. Um, so let's see, can we have like a good hair day instead of like, it'll become frizzy from trying to adjust it, but at least maybe it'll get a little bit of butt tea, you know, put a little bit of body in it. Let's see, can I kiss the cat? 
Let's see. Can I do it? I like to look, I have to look away. Will this work? How does that work? Let's see. Wait, get close to the camera. Oh, fuck it. Anyway, um, people open things online apparently. And um, um, I subscribe to this service called Birchbox, which I will not spell and advertise, but it is a pretty decent service. Basically, you, you pay $10 a month and they send you uh, a box every month that has at least four, you know, usually like sample size items in it. And it's for the beauty junkie or the product junkie like myself. Um, let's see, last month I got some concealer, which really helped out with this fucking thing. And, um, you know, I got some nail polish. Uh, this is actually from an old birch box of, of, of uh, months past. I got this little, whoops, this pretty little nail polish sample. Um, it's called Megan, but it's kind of like purp, like a, like a lilac -y gray, almost a little bit too purple because I think Gray is like pretty cool, you know, cool color for spring or whatever, but purple's like, eh, you know, it's kind of tired. But, um, also I got last month one of, I think it was last month, one of these things, you know, the egg. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the egg. This is a, um, a foundation sponge. I guess it's, it's super popular. I, I've read about it and heard about it before. It's not like that, I'm that uninformed that I don't know what the egg is, but... Fortunately for me, I don't wear foundation, so I don't really have a use for something like this. So that's the thing about the birch box is sometimes things come that you have no use for. Like for me, uh, two months in a row I got perfume and I'm not like a fragrance person. So um, I use uh, non-scented laundry detergent and I also use non-scented dryer sheets. So I want people to smell me, but I do use great smelling soaps and I also use a deodorant that smells like strawberries. So, um, usually I smell pretty good, you know, unless it's a couple days, um, and I haven't showered and you stick your head between my legs. I'm joking. Usually it probably doesn't even smell that bad down there. And I wouldn't go more than, I wouldn't go a couple days without showering. So, um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about how um, stupid it was, was this, um, item here. I, I rock. Ooh, I really rock. And you know what this is? This is, um. Stick on liquid eyeliner like you're such a mongoloid that you can't draw your own eyeliner on and even if you can't you care enough that you would use one of these things I mean seriously probably the only one that I would even consider using is the is the traditional one um, there that would give you nice like a nice little cat eye I don't know who is wearing these um, I, 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 Cleopatra if you're out there Here's your um, stick-on eyeliner, and it wasn't even really the designs of it that made me um, that got me annoyed. Uh, I love this one. Uh, how excuse me? How to eye rock? Ensure the skin is clean, dry, and free of oil. Hello, their eyelids. Who wants a dry eyelid? I mean, that's like the first. Um, the first step toward making sure that you get tons of wrinkles is is not moisture. I mean, so what do they recommend? Um, would you like uh, take an alcohol swab and, and apply it to your eyelid to make sure that it's um, clean, dry, and oil-free? To me, this is just the stupidest fucking product that ever was made. And, and what blows my mind is someone's out there selling this when I'm sure I've got so many ideas swimming around in my head that are much better than this piece of shit. But anyway, um, I'm going to hop back on my bed so I can open this month's birch box and... Um, see what's going on in there. I don't know if I'm limited to only 10 minute videos now, but um, if so, I better fucking get a move on. I'll kick off the old pumps. Look, I'm skinny. Woo! Hardly. I mean, I have a, I'm pretty skinny. You see my, it looks like I have a penis. I don't, I swear. There's no penis there, just vag. I can't show you that. That's kind of in bad taste. And plus I've got a lover. Just can't do that. Um, Let's see, uh, what's in my BB? What's in B's BB? Um, woo! It's so exciting. And that light of my head is like shining right on my forehead. Obviously, you can see and would know that I do not um, take any preparation when it comes to making a YouTube video because I uh, don't powder. So let's see here. Oh, 
Oh, I hope this is soap. Mm, not looking like it. Um, Ooh. What is this? It's a blemish clearing cleanser, which is a, a total waste because I use proactive. Um, shit. Ooh, Kerastase. Some kind of a hair oil. That's probably cool. I'm making I'm making a film for YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to the world? No. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is. It looks like a mask or something. Mostly looks not like me up here. Oh no, it's tea. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to I'm trying to appear glamorous. Can't talk about pee. What the fuck this is? Did you, sissy? Did you see that transsexual that was on Stern? Did you see that transsexual that was on Stern? Oh my god. Yes. Oh Christ. That. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, like a bright polish. Could be nice for spring, you know. Polish up the old toes. I have on, um, I have on socks. Not sexy. Um, more perfume. I need to tell them don't send me perfume. I don't like it. Ooh. A hop off. Some kind of a moisturizer. Um, but I won't keep you guys. This video is not clever. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I was like trying to tweet earlier and I couldn't think of anything that I thought was clever to tweet. So I guess it's bleeding over into my YouTube that I'm just completely unfunny. So, um, thanks for tuning in everyone. And, um, I guess I will be checking with you soon. So check in with me and that. Bye. <laughs>